go break a random magic. Just turn Welcome everyone, a bit more excitement in the air tonight. This is the in-season tournament. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter David Aldridge. Here we are in November and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Taking a look at Toronto, they like where they stand right now, perched in that topmost position. And checking out Orlando. Quite a few spots down the ladder right now. And when I look at Orlando, they had the kind of hot and cold start that we've kind of come to expect. Nothing that would indicate they're in for any kind of a breakout season. And, you know, perhaps with a roster move or two later on, they can start to break out of that pack. So let's take a look at the Toronto Raptors starting lineup. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Taylor. Then it's A.I. Then there's Dylan Brooks. And it's the captain in at the one. And for the Magic. The forward spots, it's Wagner and Bancaro. The backcourt pair for him, Fultz and Suggs. And it's Carter in at the five, roaming the paint. And Greg, on paper, this looks like a real mismatch. These teams have very different expectations. And in any matchup like this, the early stages are important. The team coming in as a big underdog has to keep it close. Otherwise, things can go south. The captain drills it from outside. The captain's got the first bucket of the game with the three for the Raptors. Now here's Fultz. D right on him. He trains the quick shot. Man, I appreciate how skilled Fultz is handling the ball. I mean, excellent at getting to his favorite spots on the floor. Here's the captain. His three-pointers off the mark. And it's Fultz with the ball for the Magic. Pass to Wagner. We have a step back. That's tipped. And a wide open look for A.I. Cans it from downtown. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Well, they're still young, but the Magic, Greg, are becoming one of those league pass teams. Like, like people want to watch them. Yeah, I mean, they've got some players leaving aside any rooting interest on my part. They've got some young fellas that are definitely intriguing to watch. Toronto with the ball after Paolo Bancaro misses from long range. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now, here's Wagner. 
Not a good performance from him in that loss to Memphis. The shot by Carter. Nobody around. That three off the mark. The Raptors have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. And here's Leonard from three. And the Raptors hit again from deep. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. Here's the captain. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And you know what? Very close to a three Yes, it does a great teammate pick me up. Yes, it Kawhi. Good of W Kawhi. Where's the power? Pick me up. Kawhi is the all the high hard work we did. Point play right there. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. The Raptors shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. And so he hits both. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. And now the first time out called here for the Magic. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Carter outside. Carter sets the pick for Ben Carroll. There's the lob to Carter. Ben Carroll, that's good. Ben Carroll showing he can run the offense too now. Nice score off the pick as the ball handler. Greg, here he is, the first overall pick of the 2022 draft. Paulo Ben Carroll. And the top pick because he's a 6'10 playmaker. Ben Carroll has a tremendous feel for the game. Great vision, passing it, and endless potential offensively. Boy, good vision that time from Suggs on this play, finding the most ready shooter and fed him nicely. Here's the captain, guarded by Fultz. Throws it up high. Shot by Taylor, no good. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. And Leonard gets it to go. That was a good defense. Look at that defense. Look at Alyssa and Robbie running to the same person. And look at the defense of Robbie and uh, the double team. And then, and then Robbie said, and then Robbie said, get that out of here. And then Robbie and uh, the double team and block. Get that out of here. And get that rebound for Robbie. Yes, sir. I like this. This is my style of heaven. Nice. Ooh, good pass. That was a good pass. To Kawhi and then... This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. You're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Now, here's Fultz. Coming in off a 10-point performance last game out. Fast break, Toronto. It's deflected. It's stolen by Bancaro. Brooks against Wagner. Pass to Van Carroll. One twenty-two left to play in the first quarter. Once again off the mark, Orlando. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. This one for three. The captain, no good. The Magic trail by nine. Wagner kicks to Fultz. Back to Wagner. Bancaro outside. Carter left side. Good ball movement here by the Magic. Just five on the clock. And it's Wagner missing. Boy, the defense got lucky there with him missing it. But they don't want to chance that again. For three, the captain with the bucket. The captain's got... I leave Robbie open and Della Brooks open. This is make no sense. Look at Bobby over here. Let's see this. 
Look at why look at me right here. You know you can leave a little bit for Robbie and guess what? Look. Look that's why why is open right here? Why is the why open right here? And I get the good saw. Ten points in the game. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. Stolen away. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Giving up too many open shots. I mean, that's what's happening here. He looked to me to be a bit sluggish. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Carter with a screen on Brooks. Knock loose. Leonard with the steal. Brooks with the bounce pass. The captain with the bucket. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some haymakers now. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. The Raptors out in front, up by 16. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Raptors. Uh, they're really mucking things up for the opposition, racking up steal after steal, just not letting them develop any kind of offensive rhythm. Hey, we've got to talk about the defense, too, guys. They've been outstanding tonight as they've already been able to knock away quite a few shots. So on the floor for Toronto to start this second quarter, AI is out there with the captain, and there's B-Train. Then there's Kawhi Leonard, and it's Brooks in at the three. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Anthony, the pass to Slaughter. Wagner with it. From deep. Not going to fall. Starting off slow, he misses his first three from the floor. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more. He got no, it! He man. did! Oh, man! Oh, what a shot! Oh, what range! What a shot! My goodness! Now, here's Wagner. Nothing on the board. Anthony with it. He's picked up by Brooks. And it's Wagner missing. And, you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide-open look in space there. Hey, Greg, what are you looking Goodbye. for here as they enter their first night of a back-to-back? -back? We'll see how the coaching staff distributes minutes among the players. You don't want to overuse your guys tonight and leave them sluggish for tomorrow. It's about finding a balance. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks very much. Wendell Carter Jr. didn't break through in his first stop with the Bulls, but he's become a cornerstone player. Okay, on that smack. Robbie with a defense now. This is a different Robbie with a headband. Oh, this is Robbie different. Robbie is different. He knows. He knows. He knows he's going to take his layup, but. Miss Taylor, Miss Taylor, try to block it, and me, I try to block it. I to get that out of here. Player with the magic. What he says is, I've definitely tapped into a different side of myself. Defensively, being able to guard one through five. Just continuing to go up from there and helping my team. Kevin? Good stuff, DA. Thank you. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over.
Carter. He's checked in for the Magic. Fultz comes in for Cole Anthony. The three-point game such a big part of the NBA. Let's see the best teams at it. Number one, the Raptors. The threat of deep shooting makes everything easier offensively. They've been incredibly accurate from long range. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Slaughter passes to Wagner. To the right side. Over Brooks. Another miss by Orlando. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. So Clark, looking back at the 2021 draft, Franz Wagner, the eighth overall pick. Oh, and you know, he very well might turn out to be the Look at that ankle break. Oh, God, it's stumbling, leaning. Oh, my Lord. Best of the bunch, Kevin. He's 6'9", really can shoot it. Uh, but I think his activity and playmaking, perhaps his best attributes, creates for others as a 6'9 wing guy, and that's valuable for any team. So, Clark, we know you're very familiar with the college game. How do you think the one-and-done rule has worked out so far? You know, not as it was intended to, Kevin. I mean, in some ways, the chance to see guys like Durant and others play in college for a year was better than not having them there. But I think it's also created this expectation that if you're not a one-and-done, that you've somehow failed. And that's um, detrimental to the psyche of young players. And here is Suggs. Kawhi Leonard getting his three to go. Driving to the basket. Good work there as it goes. Suggs showing you right there. He's not just a facilitator. Fires away from way outside. Ooh, and again, so Toronto with the triple. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. I think they're playing too soft on the perimeter. They can't stay so soft. They've got to get up into the shooters here. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their plays. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Great work down inside. Leonard so adept at converting on the interior. Here's Fultz. Plays it up and banks it in. Fultz has got his third bucket of the night. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. You know, throughout this quarter, guys, they've had no answer for him defensively. And he's been absolutely relentless. And the whistle blowers on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. And a moment here to look at the numbers for Paolo Banquero. Averaging 23 points per game, seven rebounds, and... And two assists. It's hard to wrap your head around numbers like these, but that is just what he delivers night in and night out. You know, it's so easy for us to take him for granted, to get spoiled with what he does. I think we've got to be more appreciative of the kind of impact this man has in every game he plays. Fifty-two seconds left in the first half of the game. Here's Ben Carroll. And it's Toronto with the rebound. The captain's got rebound number five here tonight. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketballs. Had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough. But that's how you win games. So it's Orlando now after Toronto at the three-pointer. And there's the foul. It'll go on A.I. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, man, that's it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. Now, here's Suggs. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. Just two to shoot. Nope. 
and just miss after miss right now. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. It's good. Talk about execution on the offensive end. They're leaving nothing on the table right now. Yep, they're starting to stretch this lead out. Too much offense to keep pace with. So as we conclude the first half, so far fairly one-sided. It's the Raptors just dominating this one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks so much. Kawhi, you seem to be so at ease out there. How much is that helping your game? Yeah, it's helping me out a lot. Uh, just coming in the game, relax, just with more intensity. I mean, my teammates are getting me involved on the offensive end. I'm playing great on defense. We just got to keep it up second half and not let it up. Hey, Kawhi, thank you very much for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. And hello, everybody. What an amazing first-half performance it's been for the Toronto Raptors. Well, they're winning with better offense. They're moving the ball well, getting high-percentage shots. This is what efficiency looks like, guys. Near flawless execution, no doubt about it. But we still have another half to go. And moving along now, let's take a look at some upcoming matchups. And for that matchup with the Hornets, they're the much better team on paper and on the court. The biggest threat to them, they don't play down to the competition right now. Yeah, we see that happen in this league almost on a nightly basis. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You know, the captain has been exceptional here, guys. Well, he left his mark on that first half with his quick hands. Great sense of timing to pile up the steals. Well, I thought it was a great defensive performance for him so far. He's aware, he's alive, he's alert, quick to react to everything that's going on around him. Can't do it much better than that. Outside the wings are Suggs and Wagner. Bancaro and Carter make up the inside pair. And it's Fultz in at the point guard. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Magic. Here's Fultz. The Raptors knocking down the tray. Passes it to Suggs. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary. On Finishing the with force. Whoa. Shook that building all the way up. Well, part of their game plan was to block. Just stay focused. And what's been impressive is that it's not been any one player. It's been a collective effort, contributions from everybody. And Wagner's got the ball here for the Orlando Magic. They'll be playing host to Chicago for their next game. That game will conclude a three-game homestand. Shoot from 12. Taylor with a rebound. Taylor's got six rebounds here tonight. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yes, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Here's Suggs. Rebound by the Raptors. Clearly out of sync to begin this half. 0 for their first three attempts. Here's the captain. He's covered by Bancaro. That one falls. 
And now, 24 points for the captain. They found a nice groove in this half, starting out three for four. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. This young Magic team is building, and they're anchored by the talent in their front court. With Franz Wagner... Paolo Bancaro and Wendell Carter Jr., who said, as a team, our potential is through the roof. I think the biggest thing for us is being injury-free. That will give us the best chance to be very special. Kevin? Special indeed. All right, David Aldridge, thank you. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Fultz the pass to Bancaro. Back to Fultz. Another miss by Orlando. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And, you know, they've got to be careful because this is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. And, Greg, when things go crazy, coaches are often the first to go. But how often does that improve things? Sometimes it goes the opposite direction, Kevin. But the simple fact is it's usually easier to change the coach than it is to turn over the roster. The captain, no good. Orlando's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Carter outside. Suggs kicks to Fultz. Dishes to Suggs. Looking to end the run. And too long on the shot. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And, guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And there it is for him. And he's had an excellent performance overall from the field. Fultz looking around. Another miss by Orlando. The defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. Suggs with the steal. The pass to Wagner. Over in the corner, Bancaro. The three ball. No good on the shot. Nice D from Brooks. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Cool. Good on the triple. And he's the main reason they have the lead right now. He's been perfect from the field, literally. Pass to Fultz. Shoots from eight. Got a hand on it. Leonard inside. He's defended by Wagner. Leonard with the bucket. Leonard's got 19 points. Well, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's that hot. That one goes. Count it. And with a merciful bucket, he snaps a terrific run by the Raptors. And here's Leonard from three. And it's in. Oh, wow. He nails the buzzer, Peter. That run punctuated by the big trifecta. They're on fire. And so it's the Toronto Raptors with a huge lead at the break. Safe to say there's no catching them today. Their defense has been active and effective. We'll return shortly. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. 
And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. The Raptors shooting a mind-boggling 79% off the floor. So for Toronto right now, we've got Kawhi Leonard. AI is out there with the captain. And there's B-Train. And it's Brooks in its small forward. The Magic shooting at rough 22% so far in this one. Put that bucket in in no time at all. Munch got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for Orlando. Pulls up. High post. That one rolling around and rims out. And so here's Orlando. Rebound by the Raptors. Brooks has got his fourth rebound in this one. Drives to the hoop. The captain with the bucket. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. They've got to tighten it up. Rejected by Taylor. Over Slaughter. Here's Brooks. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for the Raptors. Phenomenal work on the defensive end so far. That stands out the most. They've made it their mission to block shots and make things hard for the opposition. And they've also forced a lot of turnovers, capitalizing and turning those turnovers into points. Way to get after it. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. And they're not making up for it with their own shots from deep either, so that's a double-edged sword there. Anthony missing again. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. And another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. To end the run, and Anthony gets it to go. Oh. Tough to know if Anthony's going to drive by you or pull up. He's got both in his package. Had the defender on his heels there with the slick handles. And he drives in. The captain, no good. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just too inconsistent up and down at the offensive end. Isaac outside. The three-pointer, no good. The Raptors have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. Taylor's shot, good. Oh, man, what a shot. He hit that from another time zone. Now here's Anthony. He's covered closely. 11 feet out, and he hits it. Anthony's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, you know, Anthony has this in his bag. He's practiced these mid-range looks. You can tell. Here's the captain, covered by Anthony. Here's AI. And the Raptors hit again from deep. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. To the inside. And it's Monk that time on the assist by Anthony. Part of the job description as a guard. But Anthony relishes the chance to get his teammates good looks. Here's the captain. Covered by Anthony. Here's the captain. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. The captain's got 28 points for the game. And right from the get-go, they stood out as the better team. Their hunger to dominate and play for each other was outstanding. Standing for Toronto. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And it'll advance their... win total up to 12 on the season and tonight
You know, they took the time needed, made the plays they had to, and that's why they're going up 1-0 in their three-game season series against Orlando. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for the captain. Boy, the way he orchestrated the pace was impressive. I mean, moved the ball around, made good things happen with the pass. Well done. AI dishes to Taylor. Here's the captain, covered by Anthony. The captain with the bucket. The captain's got 33 points. They just blocked out the noise, That's kept on grinding, double. and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I tell you something, I mean, you get roadkill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what. And they got it done. Well, for the Raptors, they can just run out the clock. Count it. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Wagner outside. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. And they are prevailing when it matters. Greg picking up their second in season. Thanks so much, David. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. Triple-double.